the Singapore Indoor Stadium. Great crowd, very noisy. This is what they came for. Hands from Fulham now early on. Wanting to add those big punches as soon as he can. Before Aoki can get to grips with it. Immediately, Aoki comes open handed, no strikes thrown, gets into the clinch. And it's no surprise that he won this fight as quickly as he can to the ground. Strong man for Lyung, tough to get into the ground. He'll rely on technique just as he did there. Now, how good is for Lyung's submission defense? And can he get back onto his feet where he'll be more dangerous? Aoki is so strong from these positions. Once he gets those hands on you, it's just like he has the clash. Like he's just magnetized to your body. He keeps such tight pressure in every inch that he slides his body that he easily passes into side control, laces the hands. He's got deceptively long legs. No sweat on the body, so it's a lot harder to slip out of these positions. Foley is very explosive. He likes to burst into positions, but Aoki's dry, so he's clinging onto the back like a koala bear. They're directly above us here at cage side. Good strength from Aoki. Armbar, possible armbar here. It looks like he's going for it. It looks like he's setting up a Kimura now. Taking the back, he uses it to hold on to the position. Now he's got the now he's got the back and the body triangle. For Lyon will have trained for these kind of positions intensively over the past few weeks. Yeah, but you just don't know if he has the caliber of grappler out there in Baguio like Shin Yaoki. I think it's inevitable that he doesn't have it. This is the real thing. This is the biggest test for him. And even if he does have great grapplers in his camp, they're no, not going to be able to emulate the style that Aoki has. He's so unique. He's so versatile. He's so different. He's so creative. Nobody in the world is like Shin Aoki. This fight being beamed to 118 countries around the world. Tremendous level of interest in this contest. The flagship of one championship in many ways, Shinya Aoki. Okay. to work to finish. Let's go. Mitch, you've fought and grappled with, trained with Shinya Aoki before. You haven't fought him as such, but you've trained with him so many hours. Just how tough is it? Yeah, Steve, I've spent hours on the mat with this guy, and I don't last very long. I don't last as long. Edward's doing a great job. And he's able to slide out. And he's back on his feet, and that's where he wants to be. Great impetus for Iron fans now. What can he do with this opportunity? That's a victory all unto itself, but now he's going to have to be very careful. Jumps into a nice little knee there. But he's, oh, he should have circled around and created more space because Aoki immediately goes to the clinch. He's got those hips laced up, so fully he really can't go anywhere. He uses a beautiful body lock, trip tape down. And now fully hangs up against the cage. He's okay. One minute 30 left of this opening round. Most of it has been on the deck with Aoki in charge. Elbow to the head of Folayang. Folayang was able to get back into guard. A better position for him. Not as much danger pushes off. Good strength again from the Filipino. Tight, he immediately magnetizes himself to pull him. Let him go nowhere. Thrives on the contact, the Japanese fighter, doesn't he? Doesn't want any space between you and him. Oh, he's doing a good job. He's got to break this body lock. You don't want to let your opponent get double underhooks and get that tight body lock because she is probably going to end up going to a trip here and drag Foliang back down to the mat. You can see him trying to pick him up, but Foliang can maintain a good base. Five rounds this one, potentially. Don't forget, championship contest. No, 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 no,
time. Right as right. bullying was thrown that oh, the yeah. is a big deal for him. That kick was the first strike that Aoki has thrown this entire fight. All I am trying to confuse with movement naturally, side to side, changing direction constantly. And moving to us. That's when you do the laser. position when he spins by giving the back to Aoki like that. But he says he can't help it. It's just something that naturally happens. He loves the spinning attacks. But to the chin there, Shimada is warning Fuling about it. Whenever Aoki shoots from the takedown, he's got to be careful of knees and all sorts of things coming at him because for I'm going to train for that. Land those blows when you can. Good movement. Aoki's trying to pressure Fuling up against the cage. Fuling's got to start moving. He can't let him get that close. Pretty fine, pretty fine. He's an expert at just cutting you off, isn't he? Filipino to do that. He's got tree trunk legs as so many of the fighters in Baguio do. Training in those hills. Tremendous strength in the lower ends. That was just <laughs> just everything was thrown into that. It didn't land but it nearly knocked Aoki over just with the draft. I'm liking the lateral movement of Foley. He's moving really well on his feet. He's just not putting any strikes behind it so he's not scoring. He's not hurting Aoki except with these big scary strikes which I think I can kind of feel the wind from over here. effort, wasn't it, from Edward? He was always going to expose himself if it didn't pay off. High risk move with huge payoff capabilities, but now he's on the mat with uh, one of the world's greatest. Approaching the midway point in the second half round. Half time. One championship, lightweight title on the line. The champion in the white shorts, the challenger in the red. Aoki's doing the right thing. He's pushing him up against the cage, dropping him with those elbows. He's not only scoring points, but he's also softening up Edward. He's trying to create some kind of space. And that's exactly what he's able to do. Well, he's done he's well. He's on to it. Back on his feet for Ryan, but still not out of trouble. It's better than where he was. So that's improvement. Knees to the body from the Filipino. Ideally, he wants space between the two of them so that he can attack with legs and punches. But these knees to the body will be punishing. Sprint. Folayang knows that if he can just keep surviving, the chances will come. You can see, I hope he's not expending any energy. He's completely relaxed into every single one of these positions that he gets into. And Folayang's not landing any strikes that are doing any significant damage to Aoki. Contrastingly, in the stand-up, Folayang is expending a lot of energy. Lots of lateral movement. That was a nice little leg kick there thrown by Folayang. He acknowledged it well. He was like, yeah, you got me. Okay, almost static at times. So focused, is he? He's just waiting for that the takedown. You know what Aoki's going to do. He's going to get to the clinch, try to get the takedown. But can you stop it? That's the question. That's the puzzle everybody's been trying to solve. Oh, King to the knee from Edward. Hard feet, he's got hard shins. He needs to keep doing that over and over again, attacking those legs, because that's going to limit the movement of Aoki. The strength of that punch. Aoki backed off. Just hit him in the chest, I think. Shut up! 
Brasil, tô... 